Good morning everyone and welcome to Meister's Guidance in what has been a uh, difficult week for empaths, those with compassion and those that um, have a love for Mother Earth and all that dwells on her. This is not a political reading. Um, this is a reading about the message that uh, the spirits, the universe wants us to be aware of within ourselves at this particular time. And the idea of the channel is that uh, you scroll down through uh, present and past readings, find an image that appeals to you that you are drawn to at any particular time. Watch that reading. Um, some of the older ones were date stamped for particular weeks, but the uh, Meister has since contradicted me that these readings are timeless and for at any time that you uh, need a particular message. I have pre-drawn the cards today. Um, I was recording while I was shuffling and drawing the cards, but uh, the shuffling in, in some instances seemed to, to go on forever. You don't need to watch me shuffle cards, so I have pre-drawn them. Now the, the idea is that uh, I uh, shuffle and draw a card from my Namaste deck. They all have beautiful images on them. They all have a blessing on the reverse. <clears throat> we take aboard that blessing and then we expand on them with the, the further cards. The further cards are the Australian wildflower cards, the... Um, my Nature's Whispers cards and my Cosmic Oracle if you wanted to know what cards uh, I am using if you wanted to look at uh, the decks for yourselves. So the blessing I got today, <coughs> pardon me, change in weather, the message that Meister has given for us today is that life is a timeless moment in the eternal now. You perceive a yesterday, today and tomorrow, but in reality there is only now. Focusing on the past or future keeps you from li fully living and receiving life's blessing. Bring your awareness within and receive a timeless blessing. So for those that want to read it for themselves, you can pause now, have a quick read. But life is a timeless moment in the eternal now. You perceive a yesterday, today and tomorrow, but in reality there is only now. Focusing on the past or future keeps you from living fully in the present and receiving life's blessing. Okay, let's see what Cards Meister has presented for us to uh, delve a little bit deeper into that particular message in the form that we need it at this stage. So from my wildflower deck, he has given us attainment, freedom, and focus. Attainment, freedom, and focus. So we've got the sundew, the water blossoms, and the tea tree. Beautiful um, wildflowers in Australia. Under attainment, he has given us out of my Nature's Whispers cards, attainment, higher ground. We can attain this higher vibration, this higher ground, this higher awareness, this level of, of um, peace, uh, this level of acceptance, uh, uh, this level of um, clarity of what we can change and what action we need to take. Under freedom, he has given us contemplation. Freedom comes with uh, responsibilities, actions um, come with accountabilities. Um, so when we are looking at freedom, we need to contemplate what that freedom entails and how it can serve a higher purpose, the best purpose in this world that we live in. Then we have focus, show your support. Very um, strong energies for this week in particular. Um, for those that are watching it on the um, uh, the uh, at the time of recording, not going to put any date stamp on it. Uh, you will know why I need to 
uh, emphasize the show your support under focus but at any time it comes uh, to um, looking at your freedoms and contemplating what those freedoms actually entail who they affect uh, are they for um, higher gain high, as in higher purpose as in for the community or are they for personal reasons contemplate the true uh, nature behind your desire for these freedoms focus on what really is um, the the um, message behind those freedoms the responsibilities and consequences of those freedoms and then show your support for those freedoms that are for the betterment of all under attainment and higher ground we have the moon some con subconscious mind feminine intuition again this is talking um, very much about the higher consciousness the higher ground that is attainable um, via our subconscious mind subconsciously we can be on that level we don't it's not something we need to uh, bring to the table it is something that with with practice we uh, dwell in at all times and we have the feminine and the intuition now the feminine is not necessarily female energy feminine energy is about uh, compassion community uh, feminine strength um, empathy and uh, uh, wanting to bring all along with us as we move forward and the intuition under freedom we have contemplation and then we have heart emotions and this word again emotions and intuition emotions and intuition Talk about that in a moment and then under focus and show your support we have forgiveness set yourself free and this comes back to the card in the second row of freedom freedom the biggest freedom we can have is to forgive and it sets us free so we'll have a look at each row in completion attainment attainment this higher ground is so attainable by all we just have to be like this rose and open to the light and open to the sun and you can see the little child in there uh, delighting in the uh, what is available to them the the energies the the freedom the freedom there's that word again the possibilities when you open yourself to this higher ground and it is eminently obtainable via the subconscious mind and it is all about embracing those inner feminine energies nothing wrong with masculine energies we need both in the world and we need both in balance the problem is is they're not in balance at the moment um, the masculine has for for many many generations uh, the patriarchal has overtaken the feminine energy and at this stage we are just working towards bringing those energies back into balance and complementing each other so that um, all can be embraced and the future for all is is light and bright so the feminine energy and the intuition so by practicing by practicing it doesn't say to practice but it is attainable to reach this higher ground so that you live in it constantly in a subconscious manner and then what happens is that affects your actions on a daily hourly minutes by second uh, basis that is just the energy you then live in constantly and it's a beautiful energy it is a beautiful energy to just be in um, I, I have found um, since working with Meister and having reached a particular level um, and an arrangement with him in that because I subconsciously now live in that uh, higher ground energy I would say constantly um, I find that um, 
I am a lot more forgiving of myself and for others. Uh, I am a lot softer. And uh, I, I just am more embracing. And life is a lot easier. <laughs> it is actually a, a beautiful place to dwell in because life becomes then so simple. The next row we have is freedom, contemplation and heart. So what this is telling us is that... Um, Oh, I touched on it in the previous row with the freedom. The freedom that you feel when you reach this subconscious higher ground um, is within every fibre of your being. Um, you find that you are not then tied. Yes, you still have to pay bills. Yes, you still have to cook dinner. Yes, you still have to go to work. You have to clean the house or mow the lawns or whatever. There are still obligations, but there is such a freedom of spirit and a freedom of mind when you reach this higher attainment. Contemplation. Now, it comes down to contemplating... Um, now, I did touch on this earlier on in the physical sense that, that um, we do need to contemplate uh, what those freedoms that we are demanding physically uh, can result in um, for ourselves and others. So this is about actions and consequences. But what I also f am finding is having moved into the um, spiritual level is that this freedom allows you to contemplate without uh, judgment and you've actually got the lion of strength here strength in the usual tarot deck and strength um, is very much about inner strength inner compassion but it is also about bringing the subconscious to the conscious acknowledging it and letting it being able to let it go so by having um, this higher ground, it gives you the freedom to um, view things that go on, your, on in your life uh, to um, instances, issues, view it, contemplate it, acknowledge it and let it go. And then we have heart emotions and intuition and this and this is intuition for the second time in this reading so obviously it's very important um, but by by reaching this this uh, higher vibration through um, through the subconscious mind and it, it's not easy it does have to be worked at but you also have to be unaware that you're doing it in a certain way so via meditation via just op opening yourself and letting life flow be in the today um, be in the garden put your hands in the soil look at the sky and and just contemplate how beautiful the sky is no matter what it's doing it's a beautiful blue day out here today um, we're expecting snow uh, on our local mountains later this week. It's going to either is going to be beautiful. It is about just opening, opening yourself physically and spiritually and me mentally, and just letting life flow through you without judging, without judging, and without um, putting expectations on anything. So this is about the heart opening the heart, just allowing the emotions and the intuition to flow through you. And we have focus. Focus, show your support and forgiveness to set yourself free. And again, we've got freedom and free. So if we break this down, we have the focus, the sundew, beautiful wildflowers in Australia. Um, meditation, focusing on the now, um, not easy it does take practice but trust me when when it comes to you subconsciously when you reach that stage where it's like it's like breathing um it just flows through you and even then breathing's not always easy um 
if you find you breathe into your upper chest, you're using muscles that you're not supposed to to breathe. So you may need to practice breathing through down into your diaphragm, into your um, into your um, abdominal area. Um, and it may be that if you've always breathed like this to actually move the breath down into your lower lungs um, takes practice. It's, it's not habitual. You need to make it, to practice it until it becomes a subconscious habitual. And this is um, what this card is telling me is um, before we were talking about the physical, now we've moved into the spiritual, is um, about uh, focusing on what habits you want to bring forward so that they become subconscious and that you just uh, dwell in that energy. Show your support. First of all, give yourself a rah-rah. <laughs> show your support for yourself and show your support for others that are needing this message at this time. Don't preach. <laughs> just uh, perhaps guide gently or just encourage or show your support for them uh, as they enter these these uh, stages of subconscious freedom for them that they can breathe this this freedom they can breathe this intuition and higher um, higher vibration into them so show your support but also on a physical level in regards to the freedoms and the um, actions and consequences uh, rights and responsibilities etc uh, look after yourself mentally and physically um, and spiritually but when you see action that you can take that needs your support be in the now and give your support to that action especially given the week we've just had and then forgiveness set yourself free freedom the biggest freedom you can give yourself is to forgive yourself. Forgive your past and forgive your future. It doesn't mean we uh, don't forget. It doesn't mean we take actions uh, and then uh, forgive ourselves uh, for actions that we knew at the time were not appropriate, but it is very much about being in the now. Forgive who you were 20, 30 years ago. You didn't know any different 20, 30 years ago. And to be honest, what you did 10 years ago has made you who you are now. What you did six months ago has made you who you are now. So forgive yourself if you have done anything in your past that you feel um, you may have um, uh, affected others. That's okay, thank you, Master. <laughs> that may have... Um, affected others in a way that wasn't in in your higher vibration forgive yourself because that's uh, part of the life lesson that you needed and part of the life lesson that they needed and also forgive yourself for what you may inadvertently do in the future this is about living in the present bringing uh, your thoughts forward subconsciously uh, acknowledging them and letting them go so life is a timeless moment in the eternal now. You perceive a yesterday, today and tomorrow, but in reality there is only now. Focusing on the past or the future keeps you from fully living and receiving life's blessing in the present. Bring your awareness within, which is this higher ground subconscious, and receive the timeless blessing. The timeless blessing of being in this higher vibration. So what I'll do now is I'll just to finish up, I'll draw a couple of work your light oracle cards and just see what message Meister wants us to finish with. Sorry, that was a bit of a long reading considering I pre-drew the cards. Um, obviously it was a message that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting chills. <laughs> I am definitely chilled. Uh, it's not cold, it is Meister talking to me. 
that it was a message that he really wanted to get across this week and that we really needed to be aware of. So thank you for joining me. Master, a couple of oracle cards just to finish up in regards to the energies that we need to take forward from today. Just to round out the message you had for us today, please, Master. A couple of oracle cards just to round out the energy. That was quick. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. This is the energy that you will feel when you um, uh, meditate and be in the moment and be in the now. Now, meditation doesn't need to be uh, sitting, staring at a candle or... Um, uh, cross-legged on the rug or anything like that um, moments of meditation can occur uh, during any time where you are not actively uh, engaging your mind so it can be while you're weeding or hanging out the washing or doing the ironing or any other walking the dog any other mundane chore although walking the dog is not mundane uh, that can be they can all be moments of meditation and it's very much about you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you and you will feel them uh, talk to them listen to them feel their energies and you will find that you can engage with them in a way that is personal to you um, I hear my spirit guides um, I can occasionally feel them um, very much hear them uh, my daughter can feel she um, so I hear she feels and um, other guides I know um, receive their energies from their ancient ancestors in different ways so you are not alone be aware that they are there and Akasha the Akasha records, the Akasha records is where your history and your future is stored, but your guidance, your guidance is divinely guided, Akasha. So thank you for joining me today for Meister's, Tara, uh, Meister's Guidance. Um, I hope you, that message resonated with you at this time that you need it. Love to you all, blessing to you all. Take care. <sighs> be within, be with your spirit and love and light to everyone. Bye-bye.